everything. I love you, Daddy. You won't be seeing much more of me anytime soon. Sure. That's my girl, man. That karma will come back to you. Baby. Yeah. Hey. Registered mail? What's important? Baby, what's the matter? My father's dead. I thought you were an orphan. Even orphans have fathers. Somewhere. No, Ma, I don't care what your landlady said. What did the... Ma, what did the... Ma, what did the doctor say? Hey, any chance I could talk you out of a smoke? Chance in hell. Look away. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Mommy. I'm sorry. You're telling me that you're going back to a guy whose idea of romance is two for one night at the dog track? I'm right here. Okay? And I treat you like a goddess. What do you mean, maybe that's my problem? Hey, I can be a bad boy too if that's what gets you off. Hold on, I'm getting another call! No, no, sweetheart, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm being a bad boy, okay? It was like the role play. Just hold on, I'm sorry, hold on. Make it quick, okay? What do you mean, Rodriguez is gone? You mean gone, gone? Because if that's the kind of gone that you're talking about, I would appreciate it if you drove down here and shot me in the face. Because it would be very comforting for me to be dead right now. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Leo. Special delivery. Thanks. Look, Rodriguez is the biggest bail that I have ever laid out in my entire life-sucking, miserable career. And... It... Hold on a second. You know what? It's only money. Thank you. 
Come on. All right. Go. All right. Sister called, she wanted me to call right back. They expect him to do a lot of reading. Leo, the Undertaker thought it made him look more natural. I can't read when it's hot. But a pool out in Vegas, I don't know how they do it. We're talking Baghdad hot where you're going, old man. It's a dry heat. Will you please show some respect? I need a quiet one, Harry. You should have plenty of that. <laughs> that was funny, Katie. It wasn't supposed to be funny. What was your name again? Douglas. Listen to me, all of you. The man that lays here before us a very different man in his final days. He changed a great deal for the good. Yeah, you can tell by the saw the crowd. <laughs> well, then you're just gonna have to take my word for it, Sam. Now, you all get your money in due time, but meanwhile, we stand here quietly. Okay, okay. Pay respects to our father as a family. Understood? standard. After a lot of legal mumbo jumbo, it all boils down to about three million dollars a piece. Wow. What? Three million each. Are all over there. Oh, good lord, stop. Daddy left us this money. That's the bottom line. 
But there are some contingencies. What contingencies? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? What is it in pesos? Why don't I go get a cup of joe and you, kids, sort this out? Okay. First of all, Daddy left me the executor of the estate. That seems to make a lot of sense. Somebody we all trust, yes, because if you give the money to Leo, he'll piss it away. Look, I know you think that you're this big, mature man, but I run a business, okay? Stop it. Stop. I'm a businessman. There's more. Okay. You will get the money if you work together in a family business for two years. Much, Nina, but this is not funny. Hey, let's open the belly. Uh, it was his dying wish to bring us back together as a family. His dying wish. Doesn't that mean anything to you, Sam? What are the three of us going to do together for two years without killing each other? What's your problem, is Sam? Oh, I got plenty of ideas. You're not a class head hey. empty kind of guy. You're a shove the class up your ass kind of guy. You figured that this wasn't working before you even walked in that door. This is what I love about family. We haven't seen each other in ten years. And we can pick up and hate each other like it was yesterday. Sam, stop it. That reminds me. Just because Junior here is supposedly the old man's seed that excuse that he's earned a fair share, you never met the no, bastard. It's, he's Daddy's son and your half-brother, and I have the documents to prove it. Okay, you all need this money desperately. You have alimony, you have college tuitions up the road, you are suspended without pay. And you, you're a bail bondsman, really? What? I provide a service to the community. Yeah, and hawk up to your eyeballs. And you, a thief. I'm a good thief. Like Brad Pitt in Ocean's Eleven. Maybe you've seen it. I'll be sure to rent the DVD. Thank you. Now, I'm not saying you don't have good reason for what's become of you, but this is a blessing. This is a second chance for us to become a family again. That was his dying wish. And you will honor it, even if it kills you. This broadcast for a special report. Billionaire businessman Kyle Wills was kidnapped today while en route to his office. Eyewitness reports from shocked onlookers described a chaotic scene in which as many as five armed and masked men So what was it like growing up together, guys? Come on, I grew up in child facilities and foster homes. We still had a good time. You want to know what it's like? Yeah, I'll give you a little taste. You ever played the game Gotcha Last? No. Oh. It's great, man. All right, what you do is you hit each other back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. So one guy gets the other guy really good. Bang! And then you run away and you say, got you last. And then the other guy chases after you and tries to get you back and then it starts all over again. It's a good time. It's a lot of fun. Except for when you play it with Sam. Because you know what Sam would do? I would finally get him once, real good, and I'd run off. But he wouldn't chase after me, and then I would live in fear for hours, sometimes even days, wondering when the big bad Sam was going to attack me. And you know, you know what your brother from another mother would do? He would set his alarm for 3 a.m and walk into my room when I was still sleeping and slap the shit out of me. And I'd be laying there looking up at this monster and he'd lean down and he'd say, got you last. Now that's the funnest game that we ever played. The rest, I keep between myself and my therapist. Go up. Kiss my ass, Sam. <laughs> got you last. I'm gonna kill you! Identified this man, Edgar Rodriguez, as one of the Will's kidnappers.
According to the FBI, Rodriguez is an escaped fugitive facing charges for grand theft and assault with a bail weapon. The Wills family is offering a $5 million reward for any information directly resulting in the billionaire's safe return. Somehow. Will you please shut up? You think I'm some kind of ogre? You see the camera? What do you think I bought that for? No, I'm nuts. They see you, you see them, everybody cries, begs for mercy, etc., etc. Now, the feds are going to want to make sure that you're alive. So, I rig a live feed of a Dow Jones stock ticket and went across the bottom of the screen. That way you can read real-time stock quotes and see just how far you company's gone in the toilet because their faithful leader's about to die a horrible death unless they pay up. Hmm? It's cool, huh? Okay. Uh, Leo needs a favor. Yeah. Shall I save him until we figure out what it is that we could do as a family business? You know, um, I, I've got a little situation that I, I could use a little help with. How can I help, bro? Bro? What are you, 12 years old? The next thing I know, you're going to be asking me to high five. Leo, do you want help or not? Beggars can be choosers. <laughs> Sorry. Um, turns out, since I won't be getting at the old man's cut for two years, um, I'm in a little bit of a financial bind. See, I, I posted this bond on this guy, Edgar Rodriguez, um, for $250,000, and he skipped on me. And if he doesn't show up for his trial next week, I'm on the hook for the $250,000. This, this is a nightmare. I know. Tell me about it. But the good news is, it seems Rodriguez is involved with that Kyle Wills kidnapping that's all over the news, so we got that going for us. We can trace it, we'll never get any more than that. The old man's probably laughing his ass off. You know, this is a plan all along. No, it wasn't, okay? He knew it would take that long. Especially with you, Sammy the Bullheaded, just like him. You're the only one on this planet I would like compare me to him. I want you to know that. <laughs> what would you do? Slap me around like one of your perps? Huh? Now, wouldn't that bring down the wrath of God? <laughs> you should have been a nun. <laughs> yeah. Cheated on my husband, ruined my marriage, and excommunicated from the church. <laughs> I had two failed marriages and a kid who barely knows me. I'm damned to hell for sure. Chips off the old lock, huh? That's bogus, though. Yeah, it's time you grow up and just stop blaming him. Now it's up to us. I love my brothers. Unconditionally. Even you. Even the one I just met. Really? What's his name? Douglas. He seems very sweet. For a juvenile delinquent. Well, you're no prince either, and I still love you. That's kind of how family works. Wait, you're actually going to help me out? The FBI is going to throw every agency they got at this thing. Wells is a huge contributor to the Republican Party. They're going to find Rodriguez before we... No, but they're not going to be looking for Rodriguez. Not just yet. 
but they, they know that this guy's not smart enough to pull off something this big. He's, he's nothing but a lieutenant with the cartels down in Mexico. So, interfere with the FBI investigation, and me killed by the cartels? Yeah, but there's a five million dollar reward. Poor, I'm looking for wells, so there is no five million. So we split your bond. That's what, 10% on 250 grand? 25 grand split three ways, 8,333 and change. Listen, Einstein, the deal was we worked together, okay, and we split the old man's money. That bond is mine. No, no, this this counts as part of our two-year sentence, and the, and the deal was anything the company makes gets split three ways. That's the deal. Tell me what you know about Ramirez. Slow down, Turbo. I see the way things are going here. You're snapping out orders and expecting the two of us to just eat shit. No. Nina said that we work together as a team. Oh, well, thank you, John Wooden. I'm a cop. That's what I do. Along the way, I'll try to figure out what kind of contribution you make to the team until then I'm stuck. Please, please. Listen. Rodriguez was always running his mouth off about this girl that he was dating. This famous stripper down in Mexico City. You know City. how many strip clubs are in Mexico City? But she's famous, right? That narrows it down. Angelina. Angelina. That was her name. It was a singular name, like like Madonna. See, just, just, just hear me out, okay? Hear me out. If Rodriguez is involved, he's involved because of his connections to the cartel in Mexico. So it's my guess that that's where they're hiding wills. We're gonna need money to get started. So how much do you need? Fifteen thousand. That'll get us started. I'll, I'll call you when we need more. Fifteen grand. Yeah. Well, you know, I plan on running a tight ship, Sam. I, I do not want to dip into <clears throat> Daddy's funds until you've all proven yourself a bit. So, uh, ten thousand will have to do. No more. You've been a little tight with 12 million, don't you think? It's not our money yet. The company needs to prove itself. It has to be successful. I think, I think 10,000 is fair. Okay. The old purse strings, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, you will be careful, won't you? And you'll look after them? They're grown ups, Nina. I'll do my job. I'm not a babysitter. No, I know, but they are your family. I keep pushing the money angle for you, kid. I'll see you in a week. So Sam, what's first? I say take a little nap and then we hit the strip clubs. It's pretty much my normal routine in every town. <laughs> no. We call every club in town and see if they have a famous one name stripper, Angelina. Does it take about a lifetime? More. It might not take as long as you guys think. Yeah. <laughs> Esos gringos con mi angelina me hace vomitar no más de pensar que huele sus alientos. Mira, yo me cortaría los huevos y se los presentaría como un trofeo de mi amor. Es que solamente me daría una bellísima sonrisa. Ella me dijo que yo le gusto. ¿Qué estás diciendo, José? Mira, perdóname que te lo diga, pero. Pero tú eres un hombre, un hombre grandote, gordote y, y feo. Pero ella es un angelito, ella es una cosa bellísima, grandísima de Dios. Estás diciendo. Edgar es un hombre muy peligroso. Él would easily kill me if he thought I was a help to you. 
haven't seen him since he left for America over a month ago. Listen, Angelina, you don't have to be afraid of him anymore, okay? Because we, we can protect you. No, we can't. Leo, don't offer anything you can't deliver. It wouldn't matter. I can't help you. Sorry. A certain gift for sure, but yeah, you know. Edgar! I will kill your young friend, and we'll 
make love one last time before I kill you. Edgar, you said tomorrow! Because I'm early, this is okay. Oh, Edgar, please, kill me, but not him. He's an innocent and blessed by God. <laughs> Leo's 200 grand. Yeah, he's gonna be disappointed. He told Angelina he's going to America for a big score. Wait, wait, wait. Who told you this? Was somebody at the party? It was Angelina. She was pretty nice. Wait a second. I don't get it. She was all buttoned up at the strip club. What made her change her mind? She was, uh, she was formed. What's that supposed to be? Leo. What? Rodriguez is dead. What do you mean Rodriguez is dead? I mean, the kid was in a sack with his girlfriend. Rodriguez showed up, so I had to shoot him. <laughs> you were sleeping with the famous strip what did you just say? Did you say you shot Rodriguez? What about my $200,000? We're gonna go after Wills for the $5 million reward. Well, all we need is information leading to his safe return. Rodriguez had to know where they were hiding Wills. And unfortunately, you shot him! Yeah, it's pretty fortunate from where I was standing, though. Land. You were laying, Romeo. Listen, here's his wallet. See if you can find anything. If we get a lead, we call the American Embassy, we cash in on the $5 million, Get on with our separate lives. I have no idea where we are. Headed northeast. This is the only road. We're gonna make it there eventually. So, what do you think of the kid? The way he came from the old man's voice. Why do you say that? He's not a big enough asshole. Are you actually admitting you're an asshole? We're both assholes. No. Don't drag me into your personal nightmare. I happen to be a very decent guy. Just because a drunk admits that he's a drunk doesn't make him any more sober. Just try to bond with you, Leo. I heard the misery loves company. It, it works the same with misery or without. It just depends on the company, asshole. You should leave all your valuables in the truck. One vacancy in this entire piss ant town? Come on, what is this? A convention destination? I've slept on bathroom floors that were bigger than that hotel room. I had a cell in juvie that was like six by six. You usually have to double up in a place like that. So slowly clean gun, I had the whole place to myself. Bring like that. Yeah, a regular horseshoe up your ass. There's no way. I'm sleeping in a bed with either one of you guys. Fine. Sleep in the truck. Come on. I'll take the floor. You guys take the bed. Wow. You listen to him, man. He's a puppy dog. He's cute, cuddly. Chicks dig him, and he'll sleep on the floor. Guys. We gotta be careful. We stick out like sore thumbs in this town. Man, it's beautiful here. I wish I spoke Spanish. I want to immerse myself in the local culture. <laughs> Senora Rodriguez, podemos hablar con su hijo Eddie. Somos buenos amigos. We get a bilingual brother. That's going to come in handy down here. Yeah, now we can get us killed in two languages. Excuse me. Mi hijo no está aquí. 
Ustedes no parecen ser amigos de él. No, desde hace tiempo, Erigio. Nosotros, ¿sabe dónde podemos encontrar a Daniel Bolivio? No. ¿Son policías? No, no, no. Ni Dios lo mande. Odiamos a la policía. Sí, sí, sí. Él dijo que usted confiaría en nosotros si le enseñábamos esto. Ni yo confío en él. Ask about the woman in the picture. She may be in danger. Mamá, ¿qué? Les disparo, por favor. Este hijo, sí confío. Parece ser un buen joven, señora Rodríguez. De verdad no queremos causarle ningún problema. Por favor, mío. Él solo me protege. Trujillo. Su nombre es Teresa Trujillo. Teresa Trujillo. La puedo encontrar. Rodriguez is dead. They tracked him down here. Are you going to sit there and tell me who had this figure? Huh? Leave them little pieces of cheese to find us with? Make it more interesting? An FBI agent was quoted in the article. The Bureau's claiming no responsibility. <laughs> Can you believe them? I worked for them 10 years. They'll consider it a huge failure if they don't bring Wills back alive. Whoever killed Rodriguez doesn't give a damn about Wills. Let me worry about it, will you? Okay. But while you're worrying, get off my computer! It took me a month to put in those money transfers, and you're gonna crash your playing cards! All right. Look, if the feds didn't kill Rodriguez, then who? In the world Rodriguez lives in, I'm sure the list is endless. It doesn't matter. It's not connected. Yeah. Except now Rodriguez is dead. We're in the middle of Mexico. And we don't have the Mexican who brought us to the dance. We don't need him anymore. It's all preset. But you know what? Why don't we send Bertram and Bermuda into town and see if anyone's been looking around? He's dead. How do you know that about your friend Edgar? Are you police? Gee, everybody's just paranoid about the cops around here, aren't they? I guess it crosses all borders, right? We're not the police. If you happen to hear anything about the kidnapping of the American. I can read. If you're not police, you should leave. Well, my grandfather is going to blow a large hole through this door and ruin it. Well, in that case, I lied. Just heard Mexicans are friendly people. I'm half Indian. Or not so friendly. Oh. I haven't seen Edgar in two years. Your picture was in his wallet. I assure you, you won't find a picture of him in my wallet. You can check. Yeah, there's no need. She's telling the truth. What, you got a crystal ball up your ass, too? How's that fit with the lucky horseshoe? I just know, okay? But I can only do it with women, You're so... not a cop, are you? No. I'm not a cop. His brother and his brother, too. She doesn't need to know all that. How do you know Rodriguez? We grew up together. Listen, we don't know anything about your beautiful country here, but we really could use some help right now. There's a reward for any information leading to the return of the rich American. We'll pay you an equal share. An equal share? Are you crazy? Ten percent max. I want no part of it. When I found out Edgar died, I thought nothing. If 
She's lying. She's damn good. No, she's not lying. It's time for you to That's good. That's great. Back to square one. Charmed. Sorry, but we're just, we're just kind of out of our place here. But You're very kind. Thank you. I thought they would have taken your badge when they fired your ass. I wasn't fired, I was suspended. I keep an old badge just in case. Hey, kid. Yeah. Rule number one in team play? Never tell anybody anything until we talk. Okay, if we'd have talked about it, would you have asked for help? No. Oh, but it's completely okay for you to offer a complete stranger an equal share? Well, what the hell is that, huh? You know, there's no I in team, Sammy boy. Yeah, but there's an I in family, and I'm still the oldest, so shut up. What's going on in the neighborhood? Go to a local bar. This is the type of local bar that you go to if you want to get shot for no apparent reason. Mm-hmm. You speak the language, Leo. We'll respect that. <laughs> you bet. How do I don't make for my life in Spanish or something? What are you doing? This is how you make for your life in Spanish. God, Leo, you want the bear? You got a license for that. I'm a bail bondsman, not a kindergarten teacher. You packing that little baby cop pea shooter of yours? Will do. Alright. Anything you can use, kid? I don't care for guns, man. Okay, you can find a looking corpse. I'll tell you what, just stay here and keep the engine running. Right hmm? <sighs> Be careful! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry
If they're within a thousand miles in any direction, they know me. Is there a place of no concern to you? Simple. A place where the soil is not fertile. I am a farmer, remember? What about the Indian land? Doubtful. They have their holy places, but there the Indians would have killed them by now. Maybe the canyons. Listen, if Wills is here, the U.S. government is going to bring more heat on you than you can afford. I want to find him first. I need your help. Even if I had something to do with it, your government cannot prove it. You will be dropped off back at your hotel. If you are not gone in 24 hours, you will die here. Llévalos. He must have had some good qualities. Oh, he sure did. He'd only beat up Leo because he wouldn't hit a girl and he was afraid of me. Wait. I wrecked the door. Kids were sneaking into your rooms in Juvie. Could be somebody still there. Could be they wired the room. Either way, you gave him a key and told him the room because it's not broken in me. Please, please, the man was here looking for you, but he's gone. Where did those men? No, no, American, I, I did not know him. Asshole. 
same guys that kidnapped Wills. You know Rodriguez is dead, and somehow made the connection. <laughs> well, how did they know it was us? Because we're the only morons with bullseyes on our foreheads. You still need help. What are you doing here? These men that work with Edgar, Americans, they came looking for you. They killed my grandfather. I know every trail, road, and canyon for a hundred miles. We're gonna need guns. Leo, get in the back. Stop here, we're close. There used to be a weapon zipper for the military. Now a dude uses it. Well, he was gonna kill us anyway. Oh, you need to get in there. They, they gotta have some sort of like security system, fancy locks. Uh, don't worry about it. You guys take care of the guards, look at you. Disculpeme, senor. Se me atascó mi coche en una zanja. ¿Me puede ayudar? Lo que puedo hacer para ustedes sería un gran placer. Señor. It's going to be a lot faster if I just shoot it off. Yeah, great. So if the gunshot doesn't bring the whole town down, your big mouth's going to. Shut up, Leo. Hey, guys. You want to give me some room? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you learn that stuff? My guy when I was a kid. He called him Uncle Jimmy. The best b &E man in the country. He taught me how to get in and out of This must be what Charlton Heston's first wet dream looked like. This, this, this will definitely do. Hey, someone's gonna have to show me how to use one of these. You know what, kid? I have absolutely no idea. But I bet Big Bad Sammy the cop will show you. No, sir, only the bad guys get these. Just grab a good high-powered automatic rifle, some old grenades. Leo, huh? don't blow yourself up. How do you feel, boss? Sorry. Well... <laughs> Listen to you. I do believe that apology is sincere. I mean, there's nothing like a peak of mortality to show up in hindsight, huh? My life's been about money. Trouble seeing past it. Don't tell me. And now you're wondering if money is what life's all about, huh? <laughs> That's cliche, man. But I'm with you. Because that is the question. Is the money enough? I mean, is anything less than blowing your head off enough? 
Because that's the thing about blowing somebody's head off, oh boy, it is definitely enough. Kill me. Can I say goodbye to my family first? Well, Tom, you love him, that sort of nonsense? Yes. Please. Wow, oh, that is touching. Yes. <laughs> Only one road takes us close to the canyons, and they'll see us coming for miles. We'll need horses. Wait, no, no. Horses? No, I, I don't do horses, guys. Okay? You any good on a horse, kid? Yeah. Spent a few years on a work ranch for delinquents. I hope so. The Mennonites have the best horses. Supplies, clothing also. Mennonites? My ass hurts already. Touch the ground. She won't take the saddle. Yeah, she's been abused. Abuse? No. Some require firm hands. Yeah, she's been burned by the hobbles. Oh, her ribs are bruised. Went pretty hard on the back side, maybe kicked even. Is that your idea of a firm hand? This horse almost killed a man once. I don't doubt that. Well, maybe you can do better. Well, you don't deserve this horse or any other. We'll take it. Sorry about your grandfather. Kidnappers got to be talking to the FBI. But there's no phone lines, there's no cell phones to trace. Unless they were scrambled through a computer, wireless phone modems, with cell phone, emails. Hold up, hold up. So they're gonna need a generator. Generator's powered by gas. I know of only one gas depot between here and the canyons. Can you find it? An Indian, remember? Like your cowboy movies. I get down, 
put my ear to the ground, smell the horse dung, sniff the wind. That's all we're good for, right? Wow. What's wrong with that? Well, to wake up on the wrong side of the bed roll. Considering what she's been through, maybe we could cut her some slack. Huh, Leo? Come on. Yeah, I guess little Joe's right. That was uh, kind of stupid. You know what's stupid, Leo? The whole bonanza thing. That's stupid. You must have cared about him once, a long time ago. That girl was like my father. He protected me from the things you knew I would not tolerate. You mean he lied to you? That's what I mean. When I found out the true nature of what he did, I left. Again, like my father. What does your father do? Verdugo worked for him. How do you get these things to go if they don't want to? <laughs> the gas depot is over the next rise, about a mile. All right, we rest near here and we wait for dark. <laughs> that is one gorgeous woman, ain't it? Definitely. Tell me, little brother, how do you do it, huh? Look with the ladies and me. I, I, I'm not asking because I need pointers or anything. I mean, the good Lord knows that I do just fine on my own, but I'm just asking artist to artist, like, uh, what's your technique? Well, we don't, we don't like to talk about stuff like that. kind of kills the magic. Wow, I uh, wasn't meaning locker room BS. I was just trying to bond brother and brother. Apparently, never mind. All right, well, you want to know what the thing is? Yeah. The way I get my joy, my satisfaction, is how I can't seem to play the woman's joys. The woman seems very giving to us. I'm acutely attuned into her every need. But in reality, selfishly motivated. Hmm. I guess that could work. Leo, stay here with Teresa. Me and the kid are going to look around. Wait, why, why do I have to stay here? She'll protect you. Oh, come on. I'm just forgetting I'm the one that speaks Spanish. I'm not going to talk to her. I'm just going to look around. Hey, go, Leo. I can stay with Teresa. Uh, no, I think we all know where that's going. Don't be an idiot, Leo. That's a new kid. Starting to sound like family. We could all go. No. I'm going to go along. Less of a chance I can get spotted. No offense, Sam, but you're pretty easy to spot. I don't want you getting shot. And that neon cowboy hat on your fat head isn't helping either. What, are you worried about me, Leo? No. I just don't want the shot giving away our position. Yo no pienso manejar papas de oro. Disculpa, hermano. No me molesta manejar. Juegas muy despacio, pero una vida tan corta. If you'll excuse me, I think this might be a good time for me to freshen up. Um, hey, be careful because um, 
human feces is an aphrodisiac for the great brown Mexican grizzly. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Yep. He doesn't fight the arrogance of most melee men. Well, he can be pretty selfish. You know, he's just a kid, remember? Your brother Sam, he seems hardened. Yeah. That's yeah, because he is. Hard nosed, hard headed. Hard to get along with. But you, you are none of those things. Hardened, selfish, nothing like that. No, no, it's because I'm a giver. Give, 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 always give, never take. <laughs> you seem very insecure. What? Where'd you pick that up, huh? Some psych class at the local JC, or is that just all Dr. Phil? It's Dr. Phil. <laughs> Yes, I like to get Dr. Phil out here. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Okay. Right. Do Your friends? Mm -hmm. Where they at? What friends? <laughs> the ones riding the other horses. Oh, I'm a cowboy. No. Oh, are my horses. I ride with some big to death, and then I got to back up. <laughs> Tell me, or Bernardo is uh, going to have to cut your own friend. No, 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 no. I'm taking her to Verdugo. If you hurt her, he'll kill all of us. Verdugo is the one that sent us. <laughs> Not sure. I mean, if I kill her, she can have my kids. No, 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 okay. Okay, I, I gave him my best shot, but I'll, I'll be honest now, okay? One of my friends is right behind you, partner. Oh. 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 you okay? Leo, Leo, you all right? Oh, oh I washed it too. Oh, I definitely broke a ribbon. My ass really hurt from that damn horse. You're cool, man. You're definitely cool. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you think so? Yeah. You would be cool too, little brother. Who the hell are these guys? Uh, should've seen Leo, Sam. He uh, wouldn't give us up. No. <laughs> but do go send them. I bet there's more after him. Listen, I saw a map. The town called Platzkuro. I, I got the coordinates. Platzkuro is half a day's ride on horseback. Maybe an hour by truck. Okay, then we go now. Listen, you guys, you keep my horse with you. If that truck's leaving soon, I'm gonna be on it. What if we run into where they're keeping Wills or I mean, they, they'll kill him. No, the money they're asking for Wills, the only way they can get it is if they keep him alive. They'll kill us first. What if they think we're the FBI? The FBI won't come in on horseback. That's a good point. All right, so we stick to the plan. We find Wills. We call the American Embassy. Go home and wait for our job. Is that what this is all about for you? The money. I didn't mean it like that. As long as we're here, the money's not a bad thing. So you should get ready to leave. I didn't mean it like that, Teresa. Come on, you meant well. I had a dream last night. The guys who killed Rodriguez, whoever they are, were just a myth. Yeah, I dreamed you orchestrated the whole thing so you wouldn't have to split the money. I'm not that clever. Don't underestimate yourself.
You want to stay in Rama too much, I kill you. what my mother used to say. If all goes as planned, you should be back with your pseudo loved ones by happy hour tomorrow night, at which point I will be halfway to handsome. Before you do whatever it is you plan, will I be able to talk to my son? Oh, you're still pretty sure that we're going to kill you, huh? Cross my mind. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Again, you took 50 million from me, I take 500 million from you, which is what I want to add if I invested the 50 mil in the first place, swear to God. It's an eye for an eye. Biblical, man. of the Lyle Wills kidnapping investigation? Yes, I think I can be of help. Thank you. You said a few minutes, goddammit. It's only been a few minutes. What's the matter? Is the Iceman having a meltdown? <laughs> got it. I got it, baby! I'm all set up for the transfer. Now we just gotta put our buddy here online. And the party gets started. Get out of the way. Move out of the way. Here we go. I think Sam just pulled up with the gas truck. Just look for the guy with the darky cowboy hat and those dark, dark king colored shoulders. You see him? Yep. What's up, Chief? Turned it in down. I made some stuff up. I'm sorry. But I'd still like to know. Got it. Here we go. Now all we gotta do is split it up and we're out of here. promised us to both down mechanical problems, so... Negative. Commercial helicopter at least two hours out from Mexico City. Copy that. 
it all starts with an idea. Ideas. That's how you start a business. Anybody see anything? I see the future. You're not in it. Where's Wills? Dead. He was late. If he was dead, he would have moved on by now. The one was Sam killed my grandfather.
mira Liz, this is unacceptable Is the FBI? No, no uh, I'm here to escort you to them With a lot of water You're safe now You're in safe hands <laughs> a lot of blood there, little Joe. You okay, kid? Hey, Sam. You from Wills? Verdugo came and turned him over to the FBI like a good Samaritan. Okay, so what does that mean for us? It means we're broke. I gotta admit, though, seeing that asshole tits up, that... That was worth a million bucks, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't bring my grandfather back, does it? I can't, I, can't, I just can't catch a break with this bro, can I? Try keeping your mouth shut. Give me five minutes, okay? Well, I guess this is as good a place as any. Hey, get out of my stuff. Get out. Hey, what are you doing? What are you... Oh, come on, guys. Put those down. Come on. Is this the backup? The backup flash drive? Is that what this is? Of course, that's it. That's all we need. Come on, let's get going. I don't have to. I don't have to say. Hey, what are you insane? What's the matter? Sit down. Wait, wait. Sit down. Okay. You are right. Uh, wait. I underestimate. Why didn't I say this? Stop talking. Oh, please. 
have some sort of plan to get picked up or transport her from there. Unless we can get her before sunrise. We have maybe four hours before dawn. After that, they're gone. No, what? What? What are you guys talking about? No, 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 no. The guy that killed your grandfather's already dead. Okay? We're, I'm, I'm not going to get my money back. We have no shot at the reward money. Wills is back with his family. Our job is done here. Do you see anybody else out here that's going to go after him, Liam? What's that got to do with anything, Sam? I'm a cop. I don't get to walk away. Oh, Sam, you're not a cop. You got suspended. I'm not asking you to go. Stay with the kid. Oh, I told you I'm fine. I can go. Oh, this is great. Now you're going to get the kid killed, too, you know? Just when I was starting to like your dumb ass. No, I'm not letting you take him with you. Look at his leg. It's about to fall off. What are you going to do? Carry him? Jeez, Leo, shut up! No, I won't shut up! It's crazy, Sam! You know what, Sam? What? It baffles me that you're not capable of walking away from being a cop, yet you're completely fine with walking out on me and your little sister. So that's what this is all about. You left us alone with him. You had absolutely no idea how bad it got when you were gone. Now, now, Nina, you know her, she probably forgave you by now, but me? You were the one that was taking care of us, not him. I expected nothing from him but you. You know the funny thing? Eventually, he sobered up. You never came back, Sam. It's crazy how much you resent the guy because... You just like him, Sam! Hey! <laughs> hey come on! I got you last. What are you going to do, huh? Do it! Do it! Come on! I was 17 years old. If I'd have stayed out of Kilda. Difficult for the horses the rest of the way in the canyons. You think they're looking for them? I don't know, it's not military. <laughs> Maybe that's the way out. Head down to the canyons in case it doubles back. We won't be able to land at the bottom of the canyons. I'm gonna pull them out.
brings you to this neck of the woods. You're under arrest. for at least $250,000 of the reward money. And in my opinion, I think you more than earn your share. And that's 25%. I mean, I, I'm assuming that's okay with you guys. Absolutely. It seems fair. Yeah. No, please. I'm fine. Come on. Succeed, you might as well be good at it, right? Yeah, I like it. Go! I'm in. That is not what Daddy wanted. The old man wanted us together. Hope that sorry uh -huh. son of a bitch is rolling over in his grave right now. 
Oh, <laughs> we got it last.